We start with one of Worksop's oldest buildings, the Priory Gatehouse. Built around 1300, our view from the 1920s is looking through the arch and down Abbey Street. We move to Bracebridge and 1935 and a misty morning view looking east. This is Joe White's piece on Sandhill Street and back in the 1920s it was home for numerous families, some permanent, others just passing through. Move forward 30 years and one of Worksop's biggest employers was the Co-op. This is their glassworks on Sandy Lane. We're now on Carlton Road, stood on top of the footbridge going over the railway line and the funeral of Police Superintendent Machin is taking place. The year is 1928. We're still on Carlton Road and a nice rural view from 1920 of the area that is now occupied by the Ashley Hotel. You're looking at an area that was called Gateford Village but is now called Old Gateford Road. In 1910 stood Forge Cottages and Ivy House. Both are still there and little changed. Between the two buildings on the previous picture stood Otley Cottages and this picture from 1900 has all the residents brought out for the camera. Jump forward to 1920 and a shot of the woods at the top of Sparkin Hill, which could have been taken yesterday. Down Sparkin Hill onto Park Street, at its junction with the entrance to Worksop Manor in 1905. This is now the entrance to Robinson Drive. Still in 1905 and still on Park Street, but looking the other way, the decorations are out for a visit by King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra. It's 1900 and we're in the yard behind the Straw shop on Bridge Street. Mr and Mrs Straw pose with sons William and Walter and what looks like the shop's workhorse. All the way down Bridge Street and onto Bridge Place and in 1900 the Worksop and Retford Brewery steam dray is in the process of delivering the beer to the Conservative Club above Broadbury's fish and poultry shop. A few yards beyond Broadbury's and you are on the canal bridge where this picture was taken on a cold morning in January 1910. On the same bridge but 14 years earlier in 1896 George Mayer stands in front of his house. George was an auctioneer and a prominent worksopian who built George Street and named it after himself. Victoria Square in 1925, looking very neat and tidy, furnished with the latest technology, a phone box. Still on the square, but 20 years later, 1945, and the infamous toilets with the glass pavement. Nothing more to add to that, I'm done. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, then now's a great time to do it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss a thing.